Hi, my name is William Urutia, ISCA's Director of Business Development, and today I will be talking to you about Splat Bloom. Before we start, I would just like to touch on a little bit about our company. Starting with the mission statement. ISCA's mission is to protect the world from damaging insects and disease-causing pathogens by developing tools and solutions that are economical, effective, and ecologically friendly. We pride ourselves on being able to provide our customers and farmers with quality and safe products. And that's what the pictures in this slide actually represent, what they symbolize for us. By providing farmers with safer, greener technologies, they can provide their children with safer food, more sustainable food, but also provide future generations of farmers with more sustainable technologies. This illustration is just meant to show the wide gamut of ISCA's capabilities. We have the potential to take products from discovery all the way to commercialization. So we can identify insects in the field, we can evaluate them in our laboratories, we can do chemical research and development, we can actually synthesize at scale these chemicals and pheromones, we can formulate them into end products, start with testing in the lab, then take tests into the field, and everything, if everything goes well, we have the capacity to register products and distribute and sell at the global scale. So now let's talk about Splat Bloom, our honeybee pollination enhancer. As you notice in the right picture there, that's a picture of an almond tree in full bloom. And in the middle, you notice a, a gray marble-like structure. That is a dollop of Splat Bloom. So what is Splat Bloom? Splat Bloom is a honeybee pollination enhancer integrated with a proprietary Splat technology. Some of its benefits are that it's UV and ray resistant, it provides a controlled release, is biodegradable, environmentally friendly, and non-toxic. To bring a little more perspective to that, Splat is completely made of food grade materials. It can also be applied via a variety of methods, ranging from hand application all the way to aerial application. So what makes Splat Bloom work? So let's start in the bottom right hand corner, a picture of a honeybee. The arrow is pointing to the Nasinov gland, which produces Nasinov pheromone. Naturally, this pheromone is going to be released into the field by worker honeybees when good resources are available and when pollination is desirable. So how can we use this pheromone to affect bee behavior in a positive way? Well, by using it in splat and applying it to the field, bees will forage further and will increase and sustain activity. We have proven its effect against Apis mellifera, the honeybee typically found in North America, but there's also a high probability of efficacy against other honeybees in the subgenus Apis found around the world, as you can see in that list below. So how do you use Splat Bloom? To best illustrate this, we have to start with the standard situation, a normal situation, if you will. Look at these green dots. These represent trees. Imagine one acre of trees and one beehive. Bees tend to stay closer to their hives. And so what happens is that the further you get away from a beehive, the less efficiency you have with pollination. And farmers typically can only deal with this by applying more beehives to the field. Well, this can be cost prohibitive, or sometimes the bees just aren't available. So how can Splat Bloom improve this? Here, this illustration represents a field applied with Splat Bloom, represented by the gray dots. By doing this, we've filled the field with Nasinov pheromone that communicates to the bees that there's resources to come pollinate, that it's desirable. So the net effect is that bees travel further, they remain active for longer periods of time with little to no negative effect, and pollination increases, therefore increasing yields and fruit set. Another situation where splat bloom is typically used is in competition. So sometimes you have your beehive next to your target crop, but what happens if there's a highly more preferred crop near that? They'll compete. So in this illustration, the left side is your naturally preferred crop, and your right side your target crop that is less preferred. What will happen in a normal situation is that pollination will be much stronger in the naturally preferred crop. By applying splat bloom to your target crop, your less preferred crop, a healthier distribution of honeybees will occur and pollination will increase, reducing the competition. So how is Splat Bloom applied? 
Starting with the packaging, Splat Bloom can be offered in bulk, 750 gram caulking tubes, and 100 gram pouches. The pouches are used by our home and garden customers, and a more popular option, the 750 gram caulking tubes, are used by our medium sized growers. The beauty of this packaging option of 750 grams is that it's the exact application rate for one acre. To support application, we can provide calibrated caulking guns as well, which will apply dollops in the 2.5 to 3 gram range. By applying these to horizontal branches in the tree 5 to 6 feet high, you can spread Nassanoff pheromone through the field, evenly distribute it, and increase pollination as previously discussed. And the field life of Splat Bloom will last 4 to 6 weeks. So to continue with the advantages of Splat Bloom, by using a slow release formulation like Splat, you're able to achieve superior performance and extended field life. Additionally, there's no spray limitations because the product is weather resistant and has no negative effect on bees in the field. It also has the capability to pull and sustain bees away from areas with high insecticide usage. And we think that this will help fight colony collapse disorder. These benefits are all included in addition to biodegradability, a cost-effective product, and something that in most cases can be applied once per season, um, therefore not requiring the use of expensive equipment. So going to case study number one, this is an extreme case of Splat Bloom's benefits uh, in apples in Brazil. So in this particular study, the weather was really cold, and when the weather is cold, bee activity reduces. But by applying Splat Bloom, we were able to encourage the bees to increase their activity and go out into the field. And when comparing the treatment to the control, we were able to find a 45% increase in fruit set. And this effect we saw the strongest actually near the hive and furthest away from the hive, as you notice at 25 meters and 100 meters. So notice in case study number two, which was in almonds here in California, where ISCA is located we're able to achieve an 11% higher fruit set using Splat Bloom. And the effect was consistent across multiple distances away from the hive at 35 meters, 115 meters, and 190 meters away from the hive. So to conclude, Splat Bloom will provide an increase in sustained activity of bees in your field, will have a superior field life due to the slow release nature of Splat, will allow a farmer to potentially use fewer hives per acre, or each hive will provide more effect by having a larger range of pollination. It can also be used in situations where farmers have crops that are less favorable to bees, and it continues to provide weather resistance for extended field life. Thank you for your attention. For any questions, please contact us 